Did you know that you can use your mouse cursor in Beat Saber? Why would you need that, you ask? Well, there's actually quite a few reasons. Let me demonstrate a few of those. So, you can see me here, moving around the screen with a little cursor in the middle. I'm not in VR right now, and yet I can literally be in the whole game right here. So, why would you want to do this? For one, if you're testing your mods, you want to make sure that they work before sticking the headset on. Well, for one, you can see that the uh, mods are working. You can also check that they're all working. And you can go in your mods section and change all the settings you want quite easily if you want to. And you don't even have to stick your headset on. It's also great if you don't have a headset at the moment that's working or in use. And you want to make sure that you've got everything working mod-wise. Now, here's another reason why you won't want this. The level editor. You can quite simply click on the level editor and access it from here without having to go in the headset first, which might be really annoying for some. But let me just quit that. So, another reason is you might want to watch one of your song replays without actually having to use the headset. And that's also great for recording them. So let me demonstrate that here. So you can click on your ranked songs Go over to your replay section and you can click the replay of your song or even anyone else's if you really wanted to. Also, my name is now red because I have paid for the Patreon supporter subscription. So now my name shows up in red. So that's cool. But yeah, so that's uh, really nice. So you want to know how do you do this? How on earth do you get your cursor to come up in game so that you can actually just click on stuff like this well let me show you so here we are on steam now if you want to do this through steam the easiest method is to right click your game click on properties then go to set launch options and now in here you want to put somewhere i like to put it at the start fp fc and then click ok so now, if you click play on the game, it should come up in cursor mode. And there we are. It has come up, and I still have the mouse cursor. All I did was click play and stick that really short command in the launch options. Now, let's say you only have the Oculus version. Well, there are other ways to this. And it works with uh, other versions as well, like mixed reality and stuff. The most easiest and universal method. If you go into your games folder where you've stored the actual game data, you'll find your beatsaver.exe file, which is what the actual application is. Right click on that. And you need to create a shortcut to do that. Now, if you go over to your shortcut, you want to right click that, click properties. And you see this section here that's highlighted in blue called target. Go to the very end of that and paste that exact same command. FP, FC, all lowercase. Click apply. OK. Now, if you load the game from that shortcut, it will load in cursor mode. Now, if you do it with this method, this box here will come up in Steam if you're using Steam version, but through the shortcut saying that it's trying to launch with these parameters. Just click OK. And there we have it. Beat Saber with a mouse cursor. Pretty awesome, am I right? Thank you for watching. I hope this was very helpful to you. And if you'd like any more tips in the future, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.